John Dodson, a federal agent, says what he was asked to do was beyond belief. You were intentionally letting guns go to Mexico. Yes, ma'am. I mean, the agency was. An alcohol, tobacco, and firearms senior agent assigned to this Phoenix office since 2010, Dodson's job is to stop gun trafficking across the border. Instead, he says he was ordered to sit by and watch it happen. Investigators call the tactic letting guns walk, in this case into the hands of criminals who would use them in Mexico and the U.S. Dodson's bosses say that never happened. Now he's risking his job to go public. I'm boots on the ground here in Phoenix and telling you we've been doing it every day since I've been here. Here I am. Tell me I didn't do the things that I did. Tell me you didn't order me to do the things that I did. Tell me it didn't happen. Now you have a name on it and you have a face to put with it. Here I am, someone, now. Tell me it didn't happen. Agent Dodson and other insiders say the gun walking strategy was approved all the way to the Justice Department. The idea was to see where the guns ended up, build a big case, and take down a major cartel. And it was all kept secret from Mexico. ATF named the case Fast and Furious. This surveillance video obtained by CBS News shows suspected drug cartel suppliers carrying boxes of weapons to their cars at a Phoenix gun shop. Those long boxes being loaded into the red car are AK-47 type assault rifles. He's out again, carrying another, appears to be five boxes of hard case Pelican and Hardy pistol. So it turns out ATF not only allowed the guns to walk, they videotaped it. Documents show the inevitable result. The guns ATF let go began showing up at crime scenes in Mexico. And as ATF stood by, watching thousands of weapons hit the street, the Fast and Furious group supervisor noted the escalating Mexican violence. 958 killed in March 2010, the most violent month since 2005. The same email notes, our subjects purchased 359 firearms during March alone, including numerous Barrett 50 caliber rifles. Did you feel that ATF was partly perhaps to blame for the escalating violence in Mexico and on the border? Yes, ma'am. I, I even asked them if they could see the correlation between the two. The more that our guys buy, the more violence that we're having down there. Senior agents, including Dodson, told us they confronted their supervisors over and over. And what was the answer? What do they say? If you're going to make an omelet, you got to scramble some eggs. There was so much opposition to the gun walking that an ATF supervisor issued this email noting a schism among the agents. Whether you care or not, people of rank and authority at headquarters are paying close attention to this case. We are doing what they envisioned. If you don't think this is fun, you're in the wrong line of work. Maybe the Maricopa County Jail is hiring detention officers and you can get $30,000 to serve lunch to inmates. It, we, we, we just knew it wasn't going to end well. There's no way it could. Then, on December 14, 2010, Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was gunned down. Dodson got the bad news from a colleague. And they said, did you hear about the Border Patrol agent? And I said, yeah. And I said, well, you know, it was one of Fast and Furious guns. And there's really not much you can say after that. Two assault rifles ATF had let walk nearly a year before, similar to these, were found at Terry's murder. I felt guilty. I mean, it's crushing. Yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it. I mean... Dodson and a dozen other ATF sources have all told the same story to Senator Grassley, who's investigating. You've tried to get some answers from ATF. What's been the response? The response has been practically zilch from the standpoint that documents we want, we have not gotten them. Uh, and uh, I think it's a case of stonewalling. Dodson says he hopes that speaking out helps the family of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. They haven't been told much of anything about his murder or where the bullet came from. First of all, I would tell them that I'm sorry. Second of all, I would tell them that I've, <clears throat> I've done everything that I can for them to get the truth. After this, I don't know what else I can do, but I hope they get it. 
Dodson says they never did take down a drug cartel. However, he says thousands of fast and furious weapons are still out there and will be claiming victims on both sides of the border for years to come. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington.